Nobel Prize-winning science uncovered details of the oxygen-sensing pathway inside our cells, and this in turn has led to the development of a new class of drugs to treat anemia. This video will help you understand how the body naturally responds to low oxygen supply and enhances oxygen delivery by increasing erythropoiesis. Understanding this response provides us with the potential to treat anemia more physiologically and naturally. Let's take a closer look at the molecular pathway that enables cells to sense and respond to changes in oxygen availability, known as the HIF pathway. It all starts inside the cell. At the core of this oxygen-sensing pathway is the transcription factor known as hypoxia-inducible factor, or HIF, composed of two subunits, HIF-alpha and HIF-beta. Under normal oxygen conditions, or normoxia, Prolyl hydroxylase enzymes, or HIF-PH enzymes, use oxygen to hydroxylate HIF-alpha. As a result, HIF-alpha rapidly degrades and is not available to dimerize with HIF-beta to form HIF. In contrast, in low oxygen environments, the oxygen-dependent HIF-PH enzymes are inactive and HIF-alpha accumulates. This allows HIF-alpha to translocate into the cell nucleus, bind to HIF-beta, forming HIF, and activating the HIF pathway. HIF-PH enzymes can also be pharmacologically inhibited by a new, innovative class of drugs known as HIF-PH inhibitors. HIF-PH inhibitors mimic hypoxia and by doing so, activate the HIF pathway. If HIF-PH inhibitors mimic hypoxia, doesn't this mean they limit oxygen and cause hypoxia? No. HIF-PH inhibitors mimic the body's natural coordinated erythropoietic response to hypoxia, but they do not cause hypoxia. Now, let's better understand how activation of the HIF pathway leads to a coordinated erythropoietic response and maybe an effective way to treat anemia. Coordinated erythropoiesis begins with transcription of specific HIF target genes, which include erythropoietin, and a number of genes involved in the regulation of iron absorption, transport, and uptake. Let's take a closer look at each one of these HIF-mediated effects. First, increased erythropoietin production in both the kidneys and liver. Second, increased absorption of iron from the GI tract. Third, production of transferrin in the liver, leading to increased transport of iron to the bone marrow. And fourth, increased transferrin receptors, leading to increased uptake of iron into erythroblasts. In addition, activation of the HIF pathway also leads to a decrease in production of hepcidin from the liver, which increases mobilization of iron from iron stores. The coordinated increase in erythropoietin and increase in iron availability leads to enhanced erythropoiesis. Learn more about this new Nobel Prize-winning scientific breakthrough, which holds the promise of providing you with a more physiologic approach to treating anemia by leveraging the body's natural response to hypoxia.